Every month, Epic Games releases some free assets on the Unreal Marketplace for all its users. Today, I'm going to set myself a challenge. 1. I'm going to try and make a game only using the free assets they've released this month. 2. I have to make this game within 24 hours. Shout out to Oomph Games, they made a video on this a month ago, it's where I got the idea from. It seems like a fun little challenge, so let's get started. This month they gave away many good free assets. I first decided to download the pumpkin project as I liked how it looked, although there was not much I could do with this asset on its own. So I also downloaded the undead pack which came with many free models. I sat for a minute to think about the game I wanted to create. Then I got my idea. It was simple and I knew I could make it work. You play the game as this goblin character. The idea is you would have to avoid pumpkins which were falling out of the sky and if one of them hit you, you'd get game over. First, I set up the goblin character and made an animation blueprint for him so the goblin would do his idle animation when he wasn't moving and would run when he moved. Now I'd set up the character. Next, I was going to set up the pumpkins. This month's pumpkin assets came with many different varieties. The one with a smiling face is my favourite. It just looks so cute. I didn't want the same pumpkin to fall out of the sky, so I made a blueprint which would randomly spawn one of the pumpkin models and give it a random size. After this, I designed my level a bit. Pumpkin asset had this nice texture material that came with it, so I added this to the floor in my level. The next step was pretty easy. I just made it so that when a pumpkin fell from the sky and hit the player, they would enter ragdoll mode and be launched in the air. However, if you just ran into a pumpkin when it was already on the ground, you'd be fine. After this, I wanted a system which would randomly spawn pumpkins above the player. I thought I was in luck, as one of the free marketplace assets this month was an AI spawn system. Although, after doing some digging, I learned that this only works with pawn blueprints, so it would not work for my current game. So, for now, I made my own system. The way this works is there are certain points in my map and every 1-2 to two seconds, a random pumpkin will spawn at one of these points. This is just the start of the system, I update it slightly later on in this video. Next, I wanted the player to be in an enclosed space, so I used the wood planks from the Halloween pack to make this fence which the player would be trapped in. This way it'd be harder for the player to dodge the pumpkins. Later on, I added a score system, as I wanted this to be an endless game, I made it so that every second the player was alive, their score would increase by 1. And to make the game a bit harder, I updated the way the pumpkins would spawn. I made it so that the pumpkin spawn points would move between two fixed points, that way the pumpkin would always be spawning in a different location. To add a bit of polish to the game, I made it so that whenever a pumpkin hit the ground, the screen would shake a bit and you'd feel the impact of a pumpkin hitting the ground. Although at first, this was a bit too much, it felt like an earthquake and it was very difficult to see what was happening on the screen. I updated the values and found something that worked a bit better, so now when a pumpkin hit the ground, there'd be a nice little screen shake. Next, I went to work on the UI of the game. I made a game over screen which would appear when the player died and would let them know their score and if they wanted to replay the game. Then I worked on a main menu. I just made it say the name of the game which is It's Raining Pumpkins and made it orange to fit the theme and I also added a simple start button which would take you to the main level. With this, I had made the game. Now, let's check out some final gameplay of my game. That's all for this video. It was fun making this project. I enjoyed it, and I think I'll do it next month, as it's nice making a short little game. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.